So things just got real. This is another fall tutorial, but this time I'm wearing a sweater. Yep, it just got even realer. It is so cold out. Well, it's not, I'm just being a baby. It's like 60 or maybe it's actually 70, I think, outside. But you know what? I'm so used to, to like the 90 to 100 degree weather when it's summer. So 70 degrees is freezing for me. So I pulled out my sweater. I'm so comfortable. And I was just so inspired by the freezing weather to do another fall tutorial. And I love how it turned out. Obviously, I created it. <laughs> and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And if you guys want to stick around and see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So the first shadow I'm using is Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Cocoa Bear. So using a Sigma E25 brush, it's the blending brush, I'm going to start applying the shadow through my crease and I'm going to make sure to sort of create a winged out effect because I want all the shadows to create a sort of like winged out cat eye look. I feel like the shadow is just so perfect for fall. If you just pop this through your crease, it just makes everything look so warm and fallish. I love it. Then to start adding extra warmth and dimension through my crease, I'm going to take Makeup Geek Eyeshadow and Bitten. So now how I mentioned that I'll use the brush flat way to get a more precise crease. I'm using this with this shadow. I'm using this technique with this shadow. Because I just want to concentrate it into my crease instead of really smoking it out all the way up here. So I am still going to blow it out into that cocoa bear, but I just want to concentrate more on my crease than throughout the rest of my brow bone. And then again with this shadow, with all the shadows, I'm going to sort of blow them out and blend them out into that wing. Then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Burlesque. Then I'm going to pick up a small amount of this shadow because it has shimmer. I just want to apply it just lightly through my crease to really darken it up and then add that little bit of dimension of that shimmer but not too much because I don't want to overdo it with the shimmer in my crease. Now with a Sigma E40 brush, this is their tapered blending brush. It's so soft and fluffy and does great blending. So I'm going to apply some of Cocoa Bear on the tip of that brush and then just further blend all of these shadows. And then to darken up my crease, I'm going to take my favorite black shadow. I honestly think this is the blackest shadow I've ever seen. And it's Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyeshadow in Noir. Now to really get that drama in that crease and make it look even more winged out, I'm going to take some of this black shadow on an e sig <laughs> What? On a Sigma E30 brush, this is their pencil brush. This is also part of the Essential Kit. And I'm just going to lightly, with like the slightest pressure, I'm going to start applying this just on the outer corner. And then wing it out. I'm barely putting any pressure down. Then go back in with your Sigma E25 brush and a little bit of burlesque again and just blend that over the edges. And then just a little bit more. Just really close that crease. I'm going to take Makeup Geek Eyeshadow and Bitten. Now I'm just taking this shadow and just lightly sweeping it all over my lid. Because I want to create a more redder base for the pigment that we're going to pat over top. Then going in with Makeup Geek Pigment and Insomnia. This was their very first duochrome pigment that they created. And now they have an entire collection of different duochrome pigments and shadows. So I'm actually going to take this pigment with my finger because I feel like it gives the darkest and most effect to the pigment. So I'm just going to pat this pigment over top of where we applied that bitten as a base. 
And then for my lower lash line, I'm going to take burlesque again. And I'm just going to run this on the bottom of my lower lash line. Then for that little pop of color on my lower lash line to tie in the entire look, I'm going to take Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Peacock. I kind of wanted to stick with that bluish tone in the pigment and just bring that down to my lower lash line to really tie in the look. Then for my lower lash line, I'm going to take Bitten again. And then I'm just going to apply Bitten on the outer corner. And just blend it in just to sort of give it more of a ready look. For my brow bone, I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in cream. And now I'm just going to apply this shadow through my brow bone and then bring it down and blend it out into the crease color as well. And just cleans up the edges of the crease if we went a little bit too far. Then I'm going to take Scone Cosmetics Luxe Doubler Eye and Lip Pencil in Wine. And now you can skip this step, but I thought it would add a little bit of a fun pop of color. And it's something a little bit different and it kind of goes with the entire look. So I'm just going to apply this liner in my waterline. So now I'm just going to apply falsies and I'm using these lashes in Annabelle by Juvia's Place. And I'll be right back to show you the finished look. And that's the eye look done. Okay, so for lips, I am using this Sephora Lester Matte Longwear Lip Color. And it is in the color... What color are you in? Oh... Deep Plum Luster. I have, I think, two other ones of the Luster Matte lipsticks from Sephora, and I love them. So this is the darkest one I have, and I feel like it goes really well with the color scheme of the look. And plus, I think it matches my waterline, so that's going to be perfect. So I'm just going to apply this and, you know, line my lips with a brush first, and then fill it in with the applicator. And now I'm just going to fill it in with the applicator. That's such a pretty color. I actually really like the applicators of these lipsticks. They're really easy to work with. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, so this is my second fall makeup look. I'm kind of thinking I want to do something more cool toned. It's going to be sort of a challenge because when you think of fall, you sort of think of very warm reddish tones. And that's the two looks that I so far did. And I feel like I want to challenge myself and create something more cool toned. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you have any pictures of something you want me to film, then post them onto Twitter and tweet me. <laughs> yeah, so um, I haven't mentioned it here. I did mention it on my Snapchat, so if you follow me on Snapchat, you already know. But I am going to be at this year's New York City Generation Beauty. I am so excited. I'm only going to be there on Sunday, October 4th. And if any of you are there, please come up and say hi to me because I would love to hug you and squeeze you and take pictures and just meet you. Like, that's amazing. I would love to meet my followers. So yeah, if any of you are there, don't forget to find me and say hi to me and take pictures. And I think that should be it. So yeah, I'll link um, all the important stuff like when I'm going to be there and what day it is and stuff like that down in the description box below. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. That will all be right here as well as in my description box. And don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.